Hey guys, I am back and this is these are the ingredients that we will be using for the pre-poo caramel hair treatment, okay? First thing we'll be using, we'll be using the coconut oil and this is extra virgin. Next we will be using black Jamaican castor oil. Next I will be using the tropical coconut conditioner by Suave Naturals. The next thing I will be using is the deep moisturizing conditioner mane and tail. This ingredient is optional. This is something that I choose to put in there. If mane and tail does not work for you, you can skip this step. Next I have organic local honey that I get from a local beekeeper here in town. And next I have good old Newman's um, organic extra virgin olive oil. Okay guys, so first thing I do, that I have a little, you want to make sure you have a microwavable bowl, something that you can put in the microwave. We're going to microwave it for 10 seconds, so um, just make sure that your bowl is um, microwavable ready, okay? Now the first thing we want to do, we want to put one half a cup of our tropical coconut conditioner, the Suave Naturals, and I've already poured it into a cup, that's one half. And you want to put it in your mixture. If your hair is longer, you can um, put a little bit more. Okay, next, what we're going to do, we're going to put about a teaspoon of coconut oil inside of the mixture. Next, we're going to put about two teaspoons of the black Jamaican castor oil. Okay. And as I said, the deep conditioning, the deep moisturizing conditioner for mane and tail is optional. This has a lot of protein, so I put this in there myself. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of the main and tail conditioner. Okay. And next, I'm going to put one fourth cup of honey. And I'm not going to fill this all the way up just like almost to the brim. Okay, and next, for my extra virgin olive oil, I'm going to put two teaspoons of the extra organic virgin olive oil. Okay, and this is what my mixture looks like. Okay guys, now it's time to head to the microwave to put this in for 10 seconds so that it can heat up, okay? Okay guys, I put this in the microwave for exactly 17 seconds. Your microwave might be a little bit different, depends on how yours heat up. Now what we're gonna do, since the formula is um, hot, we're gonna go ahead and stir it. And as you can see, it's starting to caramelize.
And you want to make sure that you stir it pretty good. I like to use a fork. And then I come in with my small spatula and get the areas that I didn't get with a fork. And you can see the consistency. They kind of almost look like, like hot applesauce, I guess you would say. But you can see the caramelized effect in it. And basically, guys, if I know that I'm going to be doing my hair like the next day or the two days after, um, I would actually take a sandwich bag and um, pour this in there. And when I'm ready to use it, I just heat it up for like five seconds. Okay, so next couple days I will use this in my hair to do um, when I shampoo my hair to do a treatment but um, it's already made already made up and all I would have to do is actually just cut the side here with scissors and I can easily pour it out of my hands and use it and I can heat it up in the microwave for about five or six seconds and then this will be ready to use so and there you go guys you have it your pre poo caramel hair treatment all done easy and simple okay until next time, guys. Bye. This treatment is great for adding protein to your hair. It is a great moisture boost. It is great to make your hair super shiny and make it super soft. And it is great to use before you use shampoos, shampoo bars, or before you use conditioners. Now, just a little bit of rule of thumbs, some little, you know, little pointers, little tips I want to leave with you before we start to make this is to make sure that you leave it on your hair for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, everybody's hair is different, so the thing is, when your hair starts to feel, when your hair is soft, that's when you know your conditioner is ready, and you want to make sure you go ahead and rinse that out. And you want to make sure that when you rinse your hair out, you want to use warm water. And don't rinse the treatment out completely because you still want to leave a little bit in your hair for when you start to shampoo to make sure that it does the shampoo or the shampoo bar does not strip your natural oils from your hair. Now, you can use this under a hooded dryer with a conditioning cap on the plastic one. Or you can use this with a, an electric heating conditioning cap. Or, if you don't have one of those, you can still do the treatment, but you would need to have one of the self-heating metallic conditioning caps. And you would just need to leave it on a little bit longer and let your body heat activate the conditioner. Now, a rule of thumb, which I found is very, very helpful, is that you want to make sure that when you wash your hair, when you rinse it, you want to make sure that you use the coldest water that you can stand it because you want to seal your cuticles on your hair. Now, I like to use aloe vera juice, which I think that works very well. This, if you do this step, do not skip it. If you do this step, you will notice a difference in your hair, how many days you can go with your hair being really, really, really soft. And, I mean, I did it in... I was just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that it came out. It's, my hair is this soft. Even after it's dry, it's really, really soft. So make sure that you seal your hair strands. And then after you seal your hair strands, you want to put your oil on your hair to seal, to trap all of the moisture and everything that you've done in there. So 